Magandang umaga sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa araw na to. Tayo late na po na nakarating sa video at nandito po tayo sa Margot Connell Recreation Center in Boston. In this game, binigyan ng mainit na laban ng mga, mga taga Boston ng Lakers. Mainit na sagutan ng scores at leading sa scoreboard ng Boston dahil sa multiple two-point shots ng import na si Dino. We're currently in the fourth quarter of the game, kaya um, the players are playing hard to get the win in this ball game. Just so you know, this is a tune-up game between the Boston Hoopers and Outback players para sa upcoming basketball event na gaganapin dito mismo sa loob ng Boston. May mga couple of hiccups din sa gameplay ng mga Hoopers in the last quarter of the game. As you can see here, Chris is trying to establish a good position. Pinasa niya bola kay LT and LT is trying to uh, pass the ball to Kali Erwin. Tapos Kali Erwin is trying to penetrate the ball. However, Farman was there and Farman was able to repeal the photo shot of Kali Erwin. <laughs> Pagkas din sa mukha ni Chris ang frustrations dahil sa sunod-sunod na turnover ng mga Hoopers. His assist ng Nino was out of reach kaya na still may regalado ang bola. Pinasa niya kay Farman. Farman is dribbling the ball. Pass to um, let me know his name. Dribbling the ball. Penetrate. Boom! Denied by Chris. And now Chris dribbling the ball. Pass to LT. Tumira ng dos. The bank is open. At this point, lamang ng apat na punto sa mga Hoopers. But of course, they don't want to get complacent. Kaya they need to get another shot. And that shot is coming from LT, who was now 5 points of the game. Which is very impressive kasi despite of his standing, pinapakita niya sa team ang kanyang effort and perseverance para manalo ang ganyang mungunan. Coach Mirin must be impressed sa pinapakita ang magandang gameplay ng kanyang teammate. Well, of course, pinag-uusapan dito ang conditioning. Ito yung regimen requirement in order to play basketball at a competitive level. It is a combination of speed, strength, and stamina para ma-address ang lahat ng areas in condition. In addition to focusing on leaping ability and short burst power, coupled with shooting and ball handling. All of these attributes kailangan pang-maintain by consistent drilling. Nagahabol dito sa fast break ang Hoopers, kaso short ang pasa ng bola para sa advancing folks. Ryan took advantage of that, sidesteps, crossover, Farman came to the rescue, give it a fucking ball, driving close to the basket, nope, I need backup, pinasa niya kay Banay, nag-drawing sa ere, at pumuntos pa nga si Banay, keeping his team afloat with his back-to-back -back easy jump shot. Nagaka-frustrate talaga yung gano'n na yung... Medyo nawala ang puntos ability ni Ryan sa game na to dahil hindi pumapasok mga tira niya sa labas. Buti na lang Fireman was there to help him out kaso lamang na lamang pa din sa puntos ang Hoopers at nahihirapan na nga na maghabol sa puntos ang Lakers at the very last minute of the game. Dito ang tinulukan ni Chris Young game with his long distance jump shot. Ang score ay 7 to 20 in favor of Hoopers. Sa mga hindi pa nakapagsubscribe, please push the subscribe button, hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga susunod nating video. Salamat.